Are you ready? Whoa, this is some sort of 2001 Space Odyssey thing going on here. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Oh, if you put it like that... I just want to see what he would say. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book. Or taking a walk. Please take your time. Nobody wants to do this. That's why he's letting us go. Uh, I think I'm prepared. I'm pretty sure th there must be something I haven't done and maybe someone's screaming at me in the comments right now, but it's, it's too late. It's too late. We're here already. Doing anything else would just be not good. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? Like crap, really. Everybody's feeling like crap right now, but... We gotta do this. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Waiting to trap the one red heart left. A strange light fills the room, twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Holy... Asgore attacks! Hmm, you know, we can't even see his emotions because he's shielding himself and we can't... Uh, he, we can't, we can't spare him! Or flee! We can only act on Asgore. Uh, not much we can do here. Asgore attacks! Pretty strong, it seems like. Holy... Wait, who... Didn't someone else also have a similar attack? Oh, it was Toriel. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Yeah, remember how Undyne said he never attacks people either? So it's like two people who don't want to fight trying to fight, which is just... His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh my god, I'm having a lot of trouble here. This is like bullet hell. I need to heal already. He has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Okay, so when it's orange, I have to keep moving. I think that's what I accidentally did there. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped, Asgore's defense dropped. Probably because he's remembering like a younger version of himself. Seems talking won't do any more good. Well, we're very limited in the amount of options we have. Really? Hmm. No, I don't believe this. They can't make us go through the entire thing without killing anyone and then at the very end we have to kill somebody? That's- that's rude! Do you want to stick, Asgore? Ah! <laughs> I tried. Okay, I see now. The flashes indicate what order it comes in. So we have to either move or not move. Ah, uh, can I survive the next one without a cinnamon bun? Six health? I'll chance it. I'll chance it. Really? 
Oh, jeez. Whoa! There goes my health. <laughs> You're going to be alright. Wellen, stay determined. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen this. That's okay. We'll get back to where we were. Really not that good at avoiding that swishy DNA strand looking one. Huh. So judging by how when Asgore killed us, that was a game over. Him actually killing us and taking the mon- or the human soul is not a viable ending. Do we really have to kill him? No, no! Like San said, we didn't make it this far by giving up. We have to stay determined. Oh! I just skipped past it, what did it say? Asgore notes that he killed you once before? He nods sadly. Oh my god! How do you know that? I won't give up. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. Oh, maybe we have to keep dying. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh. There must be a spot I can stand in. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection. Flashes in his eyes. Oh my lord. Yeah, not chanting it again. I don't know though. So when we die, we keep the amount of food we had, right? So even if our final objective is to keep dying to Asgore, it's okay because we'll get a refill of our inventory. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I got that one down. So I just have to mechanically not screw up. Seems talking won't do any more good. Mm -hmm. Well, that big hand thingy doesn't hurt me. What else can we do? Like, uh... Actions-wise, there really isn't much more we can do. I have never pressed that fight button, ever, in this playthrough, and I'm not about to start doing it now. There's only check and talk. Both of them don't seem like they're doing anything. Uh, the stick doesn't do anything. Not gonna use this gnomon piece. Cinnamon buns don't do anything. Talking to him doesn't do anything. Am I trying to die here? Not sure. But I'm gonna hold on for as long as I can. Like, I'm not gonna die on purpose. Just cause that might be what we have to do. Please, Asgore! We both don't want this. There must be another way. Like, if I tell you right now, I want to stay here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting faster! Holy crap. No. I will put up an end. Holy! Okay. They're getting harder. It's not just me, right? Oh shit. Oh! I clicked the fight button accidentally. <laughs> They're getting harder. They're getting harder. Whoa, it's four now! Jeez. Asgore, please! Yeah, they're getting harder, so even the most technically, the mechanically, the most mechanically skilled player would have difficulty. Once you learn a pattern, it gets easier, but when the pattern keeps changing or making, making itself harder, then... It seems like the intent is for us to die. Stop! It just got way too fast at the end. It cannot end now, you're right! You're exactly right. Well, and stay determined. I will. I will. No. I imagine that if we keep dying over and over again, we might be discouraged very quickly. But you might be surprised at how much impact that little message, that little dying message at the end has an effect on me. It does make me feel more determined. You tell Asgore that he's killed you twice before. He nods sadly. Like... I don't understand that. Like, are we acknowledging that we have multiple lives here? And he's like, oh, okay. Hmm. You tell Asgore that he's killed you four times. He nods sadly. Okay, uh, I, I'm not sure where to go from here. At four deaths, maybe it's 
Maybe this isn't the way to do it. Because I feel like three would be enough. I got really sick of that Papyrus fight before and that was three. I don't think they would make you kill... I don't think they would make you get killed like so many times. Okay, so... What if... Okay, you know how if we talk to him enough, what if when he says... The only thing to do is to fight, that is a hint. Because I've missed a lot of hints like that before. Like when Undyne's fight, it didn't let us escape, and then it let us. So that was a hint to use the escape button. So what if this time, when it says the only thing left to do is fight, it's actually wanting us to use the fight button. Because evidently, everything here is not going to work. It's not working. But I'm going to get to the point where it says the only thing to left to do is fight first. I've never even attacked somebody before. I don't even know how to attack. All you can do is fight. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. So the next round, I am going to fight. Oh my god. Don't die. Don't die now. <laughs> Let me heal first. And we are going to attack next round. Things are starting to get harder though, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> we, like, it's okay if we hit him as long as we don't kill him, right? Oh my god, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I've never pressed this button before, is it really okay to? <sighs> Here goes nothing! That's why I've never seen that thing before, because I've never attacked somebody before. Oh my god. Did I even hurt him? How do I even use that? Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, that thing showed up before and I was like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> it's some sort of like, hit the bar in the middle thing. Oh. We're hitting him a little bit now. It's annoying though, because we're losing a lot of health. Oh. Oh my god, I don't know how to put this. starting to get really fast. Can I talk to you now? No? Okay. Oh. Asgore. If I get you down to half health, will you listen to me? Holy! Not working out well. It's getting super fast now. I have to... Whoa. Okay. Please, Asgore. It's getting so fast, I can't even tell what I'm doing. I've never consciously used it knowing it was the attack thing before. <laughs> oh my god. Did this start spinning and crap now? Oh my god, it's cheating. Almost half health. Almost half health. Half health. I'm really no good at this. Oh, I have so little food. This can't all be for nothing! I don't think I have much food. I don't have any food left. So I gotta hurry and make this count. God. 
Asgore has low HP. Why? Get out of here! I'm done! I'm... Oh my god. Did I kill him? Ugh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But... I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Well, this is an easy choice to make. After everything I have done to hurt you. I, I don't think you've actually done that much. We're all just victims of our circumstances. You haven't actually been malicious to me at all. You would rather stay down here and suffer? Than live happily on the surface? It's not like we know anything about our previous family, like our human family and friends on Earth. The only thing we know about Undertale is the monsters and I love everyone. I'm okay. I'm okay here. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. What the? What? No! Don't. Don't! What the? F <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh my! Fuck! You idiot! You haven't learned a thing! In this world! It's kill or be killed. Wait, he just took all the souls! Is he going back to the- What? My- What? What? My game just ended! What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm booting up the game again. <laughs> what the heck? That can't be the end. Uh, what? Oh my god. Whoa! What's going on? It's. Um. Oh. Continue or restart? Uh, I didn't quite catch that lore message in the beginning because I was busy full screening the game. But uh, let's continue, I guess. Is this my world? What? How can this be it? What? 
Flowey... Did Flowey take everything away from me? Oh. What? What? Hey, hey! Howdy! It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gone past him! But now, with your help... He's dead! And I've got the human souls! <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long! It feels great to have a soul inside me again! How do you know if a monster has a soul or not? Because Metaton had a soul. I assume that meant he had like a personality and everything, but Flowey doesn't have a soul? Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then... With my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Fuck this guy so hard, what the hell, man? You killed my father! Prepare to die! How is that flowy? What is this spider thing? Jesus. Whoa! This is some grotesque shit. Hey, I'm not a Toho expert. I don't know how to do bullet hell games. Fuck! What the fuck is- Can I stay here? Am I gonna fight? Um, uh, can we not fight? If we just die? Oh my god. Okay, I wanna assess the situation first. Obviously, this is meant for to kill us, and we're actually not losing that much health. Warning. Blue soul? What? Oh, we're not actually dying, so... There's a... Act button! You called for help! Okay. <gasps> the orange soul! Like, does this mean that multiple... Oh my Jesus Christ. Like, the different souls, some of them are helping me, some of them are not. Trying to be nice to me. I don't want to fight. Because, you know, I know I, my first instinct is to kill this guy. But I'm a pacifist. I'm supposed to be, you know, forgiving and blah, blah, blah. Even though you killed my dad, literally. I hate you. F you so much. Warning. Orange. Okay. You called for help. Come back here. So that was the blue soul. File 2 saved. What the hell is this shit? What the hell is this? This is so jarring. Oh! Every time there's a new file saved, is that how many times we die? 
Uh, each of those parts is like a soul. Well, how do we get out of this? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Get, get the act. You called for help. That was the pink soul. So basically he's killing us so much right now, but he just keeps reloading the save, so I... I'm dying a lot, but every time he reloads the save, that's giving me another chance to avoid his attacks again, I guess. Oh my god. Shit! It seemed like I wasn't dying for so long, so I started not... Oh my god. You're an ass. Holy shit! Time to open it again. What the hell? Whoa. Wait. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied? Killing you only one time? You are a psycho. Oh my god. Like, I, I'm hoping after we make it through the six souls, something nice will happen. Well, not something nice, but maybe an option opens up for us. I don't want to fight him. Because that's against the definition of being a pacifist. Oh my god. See, I don't really die here, like... When it's like this... I still have that one sliver of health left. Cruelty, despair... Sadness, corrupt, ruin, horror... Doom, terror, death, hatred, destroy... I call for help. Happiness! Dreamer, protect, success, relief, mercy. Jeez. Jeez. Hey man, you gotta stop closing my game. Because my recording program doesn't work very well with that shit. If you mess up the recording, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Greenheart. Okay, oh my god. Hey, you better cook better. Hey, cook better. What is this? All your food is coming out. What's more like the oil droplets? Okay, change them into- oh yeah. I don't know what they are. Like, eggs of happiness and health. This is just so grotesque. I mean, we all know how the aesthetic of Undertale is and then- this ugly ass non pixel thing shows up. Oh, suddenly I remember what this reminds me of. The mouths look like the annoying orange. <laughs> oh god, are those fingers? This is just nasty. Yellow soul. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. You have shit aim, so it's okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Shoot out some nice stuff. Oh, freaking shoot out some nice stuff. Yellow. Oh? Hope. Music. Thumbs up. Four leaf clover, all the things right with this world. Hey, hey, no, 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 hope, don't fly away. <laughs> Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean I'll have to fight him, right? There must be other things. I don't know. Are this are the souls he's absorbed helping us or something? Is that why they're dropping help items down? Oh my god, this is just terrible. 
I'm gonna die again. Jeez. Oh no, I missed that one. Come back, come back. Helping me hang on. Those health items. I don't really know what the requirements to die is, because obviously my health is a little bit bugged up or something. But I'm a, I'm sure these these health items are helping. Oh my god. Oh. Please. Flowey, just get the hell out of here, okay? Like, you know, throughout the whole journey, we haven't really met a single bad person. Why is Flowey so full of hatred? Everybody we've met has been nice. And if they weren't nice to begin with, they turn nice later, like Undyne. But Flowey, Flowey's just been full of hatred this whole time. Why? Why? And why is someone so full of hatred? Not locked up or anything. What happened to you, Flowey? Is this gonna continue forever? Unless I press fight? Uh, I'm gonna hang on for like five more minutes or so, just in case. Shit. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Pathetic. Now you're really gonna die. Okay, I hung on for a while and it seems like nothing is changing. So... I'm gonna try pressing that fight button when it comes up again, I guess. Yeah, like, okay, so it still remembers that I did all that stuff with the asking for help. The only thing I can do here is fight. We don't have to kill him, but we can wound him, just like we did with Asgore. Hopefully someone will come out of the shadows and kill Vlaui though. Genuinely hoping that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We don't even have to do anything, we just click on fight. We'll press it up until half health maybe and see how that goes. God. This is a lot to be paying attention to. Oh, it's getting more intense. Come on, get out of here already. I don't want to see your ugly face anymore. You look like a web design project by a ninth grader gone wrong. Get out of here! He's slowly dying, but I don't want to accidentally kill him. Really hoping someone will come in and kill you and wash my hands of the sins. Oh shit, I killed him, didn't I? Wait! He's almost dead, should I hit fight again? I don't want to kill him. Maybe we'll wait a little bit here? Screw it! If it makes me a sinner to kill Flowey on a pacifist playthrough, then so be it. No! No! This can't be happening! You... You... Hey! You idiot! Oh sh... <laughs> he's killing me in rapid succession over and over again. Because he's a man-child. Not even sure if he's a man. Did you really think you could defeat me? 
I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does you! <laughs> I will call for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame! Nobody else is gonna get to see you die! You are such a little asshole. <gasps> what? How did you... Well, I'll just... <gasps> Are we being saved? What? Where are my powers? <gasps> the other souls! The other humans! What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to... To obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Uh, just like with Asgore, this is an easy decision to want to make. With Asgore, I wanted to let him go very badly. With Flowey, I want to kill you very badly. But no. That's like... You know that saying? An eye for an eye, something, something, something. So, as much as I would hate to let you go, I will. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. <laughs> Letting me choose again. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. Yeah, that's a... That's a little bit of a threat. <laughs> ah, I like to think that by the time you come back, we'll be strong enough to defeat you. Defeat you with love. Or something, something cheesy like that. I'll kill you. Well, look at look at me and you. Who's who's the one dead right now? If you came back, I would kill you again, or spare you again. I mean, <laughs> I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Insane ass flower. Huh? Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm being nice to you either. I can't understand. Me neither. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. If we can't kill an enemy, defeat them with confusion. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, let me look around. Oh my god. Can is that place what I think it is? It's purple. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? No! <laughs> hmm. Oh, the artist's name is actually Timmy. No, this can't be it. Toriel! As 
this gore? The everybody, the whole monster world. Hey, yeah. Uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. Oh, that must be the snowman piece. Guess I should say something else too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. Oh, Toriel. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated, not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, um, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the Queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, um, hey. If we're not giving up down here... Don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take? But we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. Oh, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. Ah, wonderful. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing, but I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh! Hey! What are you up to, punk? Yeah! Please don't noogie the phone! Hey! Who's in charge here? Me? Oh. Yeah, that, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? <laughs> I don't know what- I don't want to know how you found that out. Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he- Ugh, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it! Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes, we'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you, everyone is, even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... <gasps> <sighs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. 
We have the mercy to spare you from her. <laughs> but call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut it short. But... Be seeing you soon, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See ya, punk! Oh. What now? Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Oh no... Is that how you were hurt? I'm sorry to hear that. Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I knew some way to get you a better ending. What? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? What? See you soon. You know, he says he wouldn't change, but... Well, I mean, we only talked to him for like 20 seconds, but he seems like a much more friendly person or flower here already.